Once upon a time, in a land not too far from here, there lived a boy, or a man, some people don't know which he was, whose name was Wonderbubba. Wonderbubba lived in the most wonderful forest anywhere, because all the animals were his friends and often visited him. Wonder lived up in a tree house in the top of a sycamore tree. It was the most magical dwelling in the forest and it had some of the most extraordinary things inside. On the front porch, Wanda had a very large rocking chair that was perfectly balanced, so all you had to do was sit in it. It would rock you all by itself for as long as you wanted with no effort at all from you. His living room had an oversized couch with soft and enormous pillows so good for relaxing on. He had a table with knotted wood holes in it just so he could sit his cups and glasses down where they would never spill. In his bedroom was the biggest emperor sized bed you've probably ever seen, much bigger than king sized, filled with the downy feathers of the geese that sometimes landed in Wonder's Pond to rest before flying further south. It was so comfortable that if you laid down on it, falling asleep could happen in only five seconds. On Wanda's back porch was a beehive, and Wanda alone was permitted to get honey by the queen herself. None of the bees ever stung Wanda. He was friend to all. At the bottom of his sycamore tree was a pond with all kinds of fish in it. Bass, trout, catfish, minnows, carp, koi, and many others too. This was a very special pond with special fish in it. Wonder Bubba's fish friends could all talk to him. They weren't like the fish you see in the aquarium. They could all talk to him, every one. They were his friends and companions. Sometimes Wonder Bubba would share his breakfast and dinner with his friends the fish and would toss some to them while he was eating in his rocking chair and they would yell up to him. Hey, thanks a lot, Wonder Bubba. That blue thanks stuff? a lot, buddy. Is that jelly? Yeah, I want some more of that. Yeah, that was very, very oh, Wonder Bubba, you're the nicest fellow I, I like know in the stuff entire with the place. cheese I just it. can't wait more to get some more of that could, cheese. I, appreciate and I, like the I didn't tell you yet, but Wonder Bubba was a big fellow. He weighed almost 300 pounds. 300 pounds! Mostly, he would just rock up in his treehouse in his rocking chair eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a wedge of cheese. Boy, did he love to eat cheese. He would get it from the little old lady that lived not too far away. Her name was Ms. Worthy and she made it for him whenever Wanda would do chores or run errands for her. She would always pay Wanda with wedges of cheese. He didn't need money because everything he needed was growing nearby. So she paid him with cheese. Because everybody knows that cheese doesn't grow on trees. All the fish that lived in Wonder Bubba's pond would call up to him. Hey, Wonder Bubba. Wonder! Wonder Bubba! Wonder Bubba! Come on down and swim with us so we can tell you what we learned in school. Did you know that fishes swim in schools? They do. Ask your mom. They didn't like him to dive in the water because he was too big and the water would splash too high and maybe even leave the pond. So Wonder Bubba never jumped into the water. He would always tiptoe in. Well, one day, Wonder Bubba was up in his treehouse, and do you know what happened? It was a big wind, and it knocked and rocked the tree that Wonder Bubba lived in. Wonder said, Hey, what's going on? Why is the wind blowing this way? He was a little afraid and began to pray. Lord, keep me safe and take care of the fishes and the animals and Miss Worthy too. The treehouse swayed from side to side and began to creep. Suddenly, Wonder Bubba looked out of his treehouse and saw an enormous tornado coming right at his house. The wind ripped open his door and 
began to blow powerfully inside Wanda's house. It was so strong that it picked up Wanda and began to spin him around and around. But that wasn't the end of it, oh no. It picked Wanda up and carried him out of his house and up into the air. Wanda Bubba yelled as the wind dropped him. But he didn't land on the ground, no, he didn't land there. Wanda landed right in the middle of the pond, and then there was a big splash. The water went up, up, up into the air, and the wind carried it away, so that some of the fish were lying down in the bottom of the mud. Didn't we tell you not to dive in? Some of the other fish had been splashed up into the air, and they began to fall down all at once. Right on top of Wonder Bubba's head. And began to cry out. Hey! Wonder Bubba! Wonder Bubba! Wonder Bubba! Wonder Bubba! They said, You, you got, got to give us some more water! water. Yeah. Wonder Bubba said, Wow, where am I going to get more water? The tornado carried it all away. From the river! I don't oh, believe you asked Bubba me Where do you that. think you're supposed to get water from with you, and man? You better hurry up, too! So Wonder Bubba set out on a walk. He rocks in the treetops all night long, rocking, really rocking, and he's singing his song. Oh, the little fish in the pond you see, no wonder bubba in the sea can hold a tree. Wonder bubba, tree, 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 wonder bubba, tree, tree, tree. Because of wonder bubba, we are swimming in the water tonight. Wonder bubba, wonder bubba, he likes to eat peanut butter and cheese, and he gets his honey straight from the bees. All the little fish in the pond you see Love Wonder Bubba in the sea and the tree Wonder Bubba Tree, tree, tree Wonder Bubba Tree, tree, tree Because of Wonder Bubba all the fish are going to party tonight Wonder Bubba, Wonder Bubba